Well, it's time to close out the work week for those of you who are adventurous and heading out to your campsites or for outdoor excursions for the weekend. This is a roundup of the Friday, August 13th weather conditions. Jonathan Kovac and Timmons, thanks for tuning in. Beautiful portrait shot of City Hall webcam looking over the distant cumulus clouds off towards the west following the passage of, of a scattered rain shower that affected us for about an hour. For your geographical interest, Algonquin West from Cedar Street goes all the way down towards the construction site due to reopen in October. I eliminated Attawapiska from the conditions, a little bit time consuming for me to add on to the maps, but I do welcome my Attawapiska and Moosonee viewers who did endure partly cloudy to overcast conditions for most of the day. Before sunset from Moosonee, you can see that these clouds are trying to break up a little bit. With the end of our day Friday, we had the passage of our cold front mixed up with the trough that would, I was talking about all day on Friday. That swept through the Tibbins area with that last rain shower. We saw some shelf clouds where the base of the clouds are very low to the ground and they were moving quite rapidly. And that's what produced that one hour long scattered shower for post dinner hour. After the cold front goes through, the winds diminish and the barometer is slowly on the way up, indicating that behind the cold front, there was more stable, fresh air coming in from the west. And that's in your Saturday forecast as well. Two frontal boundaries making up the Friday evening weather headlines, so to speak, supporting a jet stream flow going from west to east. So that's what we're sending in right now. Even though it's a westerly flow, that's why our temperatures are just a few notches, maybe by about four degrees below the seasonal mark. Cloud cover in motion for the last bit of Friday night. We can see an isolated batch of clouds. Some have been moving towards northeast Ontario, the other half moving off towards Quebec. But we can see better weather ahead behind that batch of clouds coming into Northeast Ontario for your Saturday forecast. We saw the radar loop on the introductory slides. Here's a still image of what we had. Timmins Airport reported its first rain drop at 4.45 Friday afternoon with a widespread area of rain and showers off towards the west and towards the north. Capus Cason got their scattered showers between the lunch hour up until eight o'clock on Friday evening, along with a widespread batch of showers in and around the vicinity as well. Last slide for tonight, 6.40 is when the the beginning of that shelf cloud produced that one isolated rain shower, moderate to heavy, on the western side of Highway 101 West, and the cloud cover extended halfway up towards Highway 655 as well. Here now is a look at the detailed conditions from Friday evening's uh, observations, including the 24-hour forecast.